hello uh, so uh, today we are uh, going to learn uh, i mean how to play chess so the first thing we have to learn about uh, i mean uh, about the chess board <clears throat> so how to keep the chess board and which side we have to keep uh, white pieces which side we have to keep uh, black pieces uh, so all these things so uh, there is a um, chess board here in front of you you can see um, and it's a rolling mat chess board <clears throat> i mean you can roll the chess board like this so it's like a mat that's why it's called uh, rolling mat chess board and now uh, we'll see how to uh, keep it so here you can see um, white side and that side it is black fine and see here a b c d e e f g h it's written in the same way that side also a b c d e f g and h it is written fine now we'll see this side mm, the left side of uh, you uh, that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and here also same thing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay uh, these things are written so we have to know why these things are written like this it's just because we need to know the names of the squares so this part uh, is called as um, addressing of the squares so what is addressing to know the names of the squares fine now uh, if i point out to some particular square like um, say this this square so what will be the name for this or what will be the address of that square here we have to see which letter it is it is d and here if i point out to this square we have to see the number of that um, uh, <clears throat> so the name will be d Three, because it is D and this is 3 so the name of the square will be D3 similarly if I point out to this square so it will be which see which letter it is yeah it is D and the number is 4 so the name of the square will be D4 so this one will be again D and 5 so the name will be D5 so if I point out to this square we have to see which letter it is it is c right yeah so it is c and the number is 6 so the name will be c6 like this uh, so i think you have got to know how to <coughs> know the address of the squares so if this is h and the number is h1 so the name will be h1 the name of this square or address of this square will be g2 because this is g and the number is 2 so it will be g2 fine now uh, we'll learn uh, the names of the pieces fine pieces means with which we uh, play chess so you can call them as chess men also so there are totally six types of pieces uh, this is the first one so this is the second one and this is the third one and this is the fourth one this is the fifth one and this is the sixth one fine uh, so now we'll uh, learn the names of the pieces fine so what is the name of this piece this one so the name of this piece is king see there is a uh, cross on the top it's like a cross so the name of this piece is king fine okay what about the next piece the next piece is queen this is called a queen because uh, there is a crown on the top for the king there is a plus sign kind of thing uh, on top and for queen it is there is a crown so this is called a queen okay what about this piece what is the name of this piece 
<coughs> the name of this piece is rook what is that r double o k rook so the name of this piece is rook now the next piece this one what is the name of this piece the name of this piece is bishop b i s h o p bishop okay next is the knight this is called a knight it looks like a horse fine check yeah it looks like a horse and the name is knight okay and the last one or the sixth one <coughs> is pawn this is called a pawn okay fine now we we'll learn the uh, again again so before learning the symbols of the pieces so we'll again just go through the names of the pieces once so this is your uh, king number 1 number 2 is queen okay number 3 is rook number 4 uh, is bishop number 5 is knight and then number 6 is pawn fine okay uh, now we'll uh, learn the symbols of the pieces what are the symbols by which we uh, notify the uh, pieces i mean we'll not call them as while uh, i mean why we need to know the symbols because we need to write down the moves whichever uh, is played in the game so for that we cannot call them as king queen rook bishop knight pawn and all so we have to call them with short names or with the symbols so for that we need to learn the symbols which is very important so the symbol symbols are very easy only you have to know the what is the first letter of the name the what is the first letter of the name uh, of the of this piece the name is king so the first letter is k so k is the symbol for king okay what will be the symbol for queen q is the symbol for queen because it starts with q okay next is piece number 3 that is rook so the symbol for rook is r okay next one is bishop the symbol for bishop is b okay now what is the symbol for knight knight starts with k k n i g h t but the symbol for knight is n why the symbol for knight is n because uh, it should be k right uh, but the problem is we cannot use the same symbol for two different pieces so k we are already using for king so we cannot use the same symbol again for knight so that's why we are using uh, n as the symbol for knight just to avoid the uh, uh, confusion because if i say Mm, k then which piece you will think about i mean you will think about the king or you will think about the knight so to avoid the confusion we have given different symbols to king and knight for king it is k for knight it is n fine and now the last one uh, what should be the symbol for pawn so you are thinking maybe the mm, pawn will have uh, p as a symbol but uh, here we have not given any symbol for the pawns because there are lots of pawns uh, each side will get eight pawns when they are playing uh, so if i call only p then we'll be confused like which pawn i'm talking about i'm talking about uh, this pawn or this pawn or this pawn so you will be confused so that's why we have not given any uh, any symbols for the pawns pawns don't have any symbol fine okay now we have already learned the addressing of the um, squares so we'll just uh, learn now how to write the moves fine uh, how to write the moves okay uh, we already know the symbols of the pieces and we already know the addressing of the or the name of the uh, names of the squares so just uh, we'll learn it very fast it will take maybe just one minute yeah Suppose we move the king to this square. 
okay so already you know the symbol for king what is the symbol for king it is k right and now k is k move to which square we have to see which square it is it is f and 4 so the name of the square is f4 and the king is moving to f4 so you have to write k f4 k f4 now what about the queen moves to f4 if the queen moves to f4 how to write this move what is the symbol for queen it is q and it is moving to f4 so the uh, move i mean how to write the move the move move we have to write like q f4 because q is moving to f4 now what about the rook moves to f4 if the rook moves to f4 we have to write r f4 because r is the symbol for rook and it is moving to f4 okay if the bishop moves to f4 how to write this move what is the symbol for bishop uh, it is b and it is moving to f4 so the um, you have to write like b f4 fine next is if the knight moves to f4 how to write this move what is the symbol for knight it is n so n is moving to f4 we have to write n f4 fine and the last one the pawn if the pawn moves to f4 what we have to write pawns don't have any symbol so we just have to write f4 because it's just moving to f4 so you have to write only f4 as there is no symbol for the pawn okay now uh, we'll just go through it once again suppose if the rook moves to uh, d5 how to write this move the symbol for rook is r and it is moving to d5 so we have to write r d5 if the bishop moves to this square how to write this move what is the symbol for bishop b and it is moving to f5 so it will be b f5 if a pawn moves to this square what is the square c4 and what is the symbol for pawn there is no symbol for pawn so you have to write only c4 if a knight moves to this square what is the symbol for knight it is n and it is moving to e and 6 so it will be n e 6 okay uh, next is okay if the queen moves to this square how to write the move it is what is the symbol for queen it is q and it is moving to e and 6 so the name uh, so the move will be q e 6 because q is the symbol for queen and it is moving to e 6 so that's why it is q e 6 yeah mm, fine so <clears throat> we'll get back with some new lessons uh, so for now this much so what we have learned from this we have learned the uh, names of the squares how to know the names of the each and every square of a chessboard that is called addressing of the squares or how to find the names of the squares and then uh, what are the sim names of the pieces what are the different names of the chess pieces what are their symbols and all together finally we learned how to write the moves fine we'll come back again with some uh, new topics uh, as of now it's bye again we'll see you soon thank you